Hi everybody, I'm Hollis, and this is Hollis Happenings, where I tell you what's happening in my life. So today we're going to be doing two things. We're going to be looking at some finished projects that are lying around the apartment um, that I haven't shown you yet. Um, whether they be old or new, we're still going to look at them. Next, we are going to be looking at what you want to see in this channel. What segments would you like to see? I have some ideas, so I'm going to bounce them off against um, against you and see what you like to see. Um, so let's get started. Woohoo, lighting change. So by the time this video will be posted, my friend Morgan, who used to room with me in college, will be, um, would have visited here. So I wanted to do a somewhat of a scarf special today. Number one, because she's going to be taking two of the scarves that I finished. Um, and number two, just because there's a lot of scarves around. So here we go. So first off, we have this shawl, triangle shaped shawl. Um, it is made of 100% wool. It's actually made of the um, Palate yarn. I love that yarn, as you can tell. Um, it is made of the Gosling, and I can't remember which other one, but it's a greener color. Um, I can't remember what color it is, but it is, I really like this one. It's nice and warm. Um, not conducive for summer, but it's pretty nice. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, let's just throw it over. Okay, this one is very not a very great scarf. This was my first attempt of card weaving, and I used acrylic yarn, uh, the Red Heart stuff. Um, so, yeah, it's not great, but it's hanging in there, and I just can't part with it. I still need to do some more card weaving, actually. So, but oh well. Um, toss it over there. Yeah. This one's knitted. Um, probably acrylic. It has some sequins in it. Let's see? Um, can't remember what ex. Yeah, I can't remember what exactly the yarn was, but it's a nice scarf. I feel pretty when I wear it. Actually, that's nice with this outfit. And this is more of a winter scarf. It's a little long. It's in the middle of summer here. Bam! Uh, this one is a little wonky. It's it was based off of an ebook that I got, um, which was the knitting. I think it was the knitting game. I'd have to look. It's on my old computer. Um, but it was um, knit picks. I got it from knit picks, as usual. And it had you, you can make your own pattern, um, and they had a simple pattern, but what they did was while you watch television, um, if they did something like during a drinking game, you will take a drink instead, you do like a yarn over and, or an increase or a decrease. And I kind of got bored with this such tiny brown, kind of sparkly yarn. So... I decided to make it smaller, and as you can see, I didn't really, I don't think I actually blocked this, but see, it has little holes in it, and I don't really, it's not the best, but oh well, it's here. It looks like moss ate it, actually, and now we throw it. That one didn't make the couch. This is also a Red Heart, I think this is the Red Heart Sparkle yarn. This one I made a couple years ago. I made a, I think I made one for Morgan, actually. Like I said, she loves scarves. This this episode is dated, dedicated to my friend Morgan. Sparkly. Yep. Um, there's four colors in here. And, it, oh, this one's crocheted as opposed to knitted or woven. So I like this one. This one's really nice. Um, again, Red Heart Yarn, nice and easy, quick, Morgan. <sighs> we only have two more scarves, and I'll show you non-scarf items. So, this one was made of 
uh, 100% cotton, um, like bubble yarn. This one's going to go to Morgan tomorrow. I think she'll like it. It's really soft. I wish you could feel it. It is really soft. I got this yarn from North or South Carolina in this little uh, local um, yarn shop. Drapes really well. Can you see this? Drapes really well. I wish I had more of this. She's getting it. Then let's throw it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then this is our last scarf that we're going to be looking at. The last one we're going to be looking at is kind of a necklet, like a little turtleneck. I got this yarn in Eureka Springs, Arkansas, also from a local yarn store. Um, this was actually made in um, locally in Eureka Springs. It is, I have the card for it, surprisingly. Um, it is 8020 Merino Nylon, Merino Wool Nylon. Um, and it is from, it is from a I don't know if you'll be able to read that or not, but it's one of a kind. I also got those um, interchangeable knitting, circular knitting needles from Knit Picks actually at that store. Um, and then the button that I got here was actually from Corden, not Corden, New Albany, Indiana from the local yarn store there. This side. She can do this side, but I found it a little bit more interesting to do this side. Um, it has a little bit more like a, a faux ribbing um, texture to it. Um, so can't I don't know if you could tell from there, but here's what it's going to look like. And again, Morgan's going to get this beautiful thing. So. Bam. I hope she likes it. Um, that's it for the scarves. Now, I'm not going to throw in this one. This one's too nice to throw. Now, I'm going to show you some other projects that I have been, that I finished. Um, this one was a real quick, simple one. Um, dyed hemp, 100% hemp yarn. While I was dyeing this, I was dyeing this. This is my sari that I made, my first attempt for a sari. Um, it is not that, um, it is not that fancy. This is, I call this one my lounge sari. Um, I dyed this sari part uh, with light pink and navy blue red dye. It's not the best. It's my first attempt. But I'm pretty proud of it. I also, this is a, I call it a ready-made star because I actually have snaps here that help me um, do it so I don't have to fold it constantly. Um, and then this is by Starry Top. I showed you the pattern of that last time that I drafted. Um, and I dyed it. I, I top-stitched embroidered it um, using my Janome, um using my Janome sewing machine. And it has little stars on it, I'll come over there. The cording in the back was done using this hand dyed, oops. The cording in the back was made with this yarn. Um, I did a Japanese style cording technique. Last project I'm gonna show you is my derby hat. This was my derby hat for this year. Here are some pictures. All of this was gotten from New Albany, Indiana in Ben Franklin's craft, uh, crafting store. This is made of um, yellow and pink roses. Uh, they're plastic. Um, and then I made this faux feather using tool and wire, um, cutting out the triangles and then sewing them through um, zigzag-like and then um, placing the wire.
strategically. And there is a ribbon around it, so there is some interest. And that's all the projects I have to show you this week. Next is our second portion of the show, where I'm going to bounce off some ideas about what you want to see, um, in, what you want to see in this channel. One idea I have is critiquing costumes and movies. Movies. I'm thinking that I would do this by comparing movies, uh, comparing certain movies, like comparing Academy Award winning costumes or winning movies uh, for that for a specific year. Or comparing different franchises and seeing did they uh, which movie conveyed their message the best using only costumes. Another idea I have is crafting with Hollis or craft along with me or something of that sort. Um, this is where either we can um, I could do live stream or I could do it pre-recorded. With live stream, I think I could actually answer your questions. Um, by the thing that's probably in that side of the screen. I'm not sure, but I could give it a try. Um, and as I'm crafting, I answer some of your questions. If it's pre-recorded, it could kind of be a tutorial um, of that sort. Um, but I want to do something a little different from that. Um, or we could, I could just show you what what I do and not give any explanation. Uh, and I'll just tell you what's happening with my day and whatnot just while I'm crafting. That could be something, too. Um, another idea that I have is I love Project Runway. So um, when it comes back on, whether Project Runway Junior or All-Star um, or another one, because apparently there was accessories at one point, we could rewatch that or something, um, I can let you know how I felt about the episode. Um, just a little thing I like to do. I really like Project Runway, and sometimes I don't have anybody to talk to about it. So, if you want to see that, let me know. Let me know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Till next time, Aviva About what would you like to... I have tiny hands!